What's up friends? My name is Taylor and today I want to share a story with you. A story about something that happened to me when I was five that has impacted my sex life and my relationship life for really the past 30 years. And I'm sharing this with you because it brings up an important point that I don't think gets talked about a lot in the realms of sexuality and relationship. So on a lot of my videos, I talk about semen retention and ejaculation control and multiple orgasms for men and all that stuff. And that's one form of sexual power, yeah. Another form of sexual power is undoing some of the emotional or energetic blocks that we have as humans. So this is a story about that. And if at any point in this video, you get a hit of intuition or a hit of insight, like I'd love it if you would pause and type it out in a comment. Let me know how this has impacted you or if it's brought about any awareness. Because this stuff is fascinating to me. It's really fascinating and inspiring. And it's as important to me as semen retention and ejaculation control and all that. So, all right, let's go. Here's my story. When I was five and I was in kindergarten, there was show and tell in my class. And you know, a typical show and tell thing. Students bring in their favorite toy trucks, their cars, their uh, blankets, crystals, rocks, you know, whatever we brought in for show and tell. And it went around the circle, like this person shared, then this person shared, then the next person shared, then the next person shared. And then it got to be my turn. And so I was sitting down and the teacher said, okay, Taylor, now it's your turn to share what you brought. So. This is literally what I did. I stood up and I pulled down my pants and I said, I brought my penis. And I showed everybody my penis in kindergarten for show and tell. And the kids loved it. They thought it was the best thing um, ever. And they laughed and smiled and were having a great time. But my teacher was immediately like, Taylor, no, put that away. That's bad. Put, you, put that away. That's not okay. That's not okay. Stop that. And in my body, I felt like shock and fear and like all this shame come up. Like, you know, at first it was this experience of like, oh, I have a penis. This is part of my body. This is so cool. I want to talk about it. I want to share it with, with these other students, with these other kids. And then it was like, bam, no, that's shameful. That's bad. Put it away. Don't talk about it. Don't show anybody. And I didn't realize that this has been affecting me subtly for, for years. Um, I was at an ISTA training recently, and ISTA stands for the International School of Temple Arts. And we were in a ritual, um, a ritual to let go of sexual baggage that we were holding on to, let go of blocks or whatever. And um, in the middle of that really intense ritual, I was just like instantly back in kindergarten in that space with my teacher telling me, no, put your penis away, like that's not okay. And it was at that moment I realized like, I've been carrying in my body this shame around my penis and this shame around my sexuality and this, this um, almost like a guilt too of, of thinking like some part of me not thinking it's okay to share my sexuality with people. Like that some part of that is bad. Um, and that showed up in my body and it showed up in relationships in a number of ways. One of those ways is that at times it's been hard for me to own the fact that I am a sexy man. Like I've felt shame around that. Like it's not okay to be sexy. It's not okay to be sexual. So that, that showed up in maybe being timid, right? Or not feeling fully confident in asking for what I wanted or expressing what I wanted. Another way that this has showed up is um, in small group sexual scenarios like a threesome or a foursome or some sort of play party. And yes, I've tried those, I've experimented with those, and that's a whole other conversation that I'm happy to have at some point, but at times it's been hard for me to, to have an erection in those scenarios. And sure, there's a lot of different factors, right? But I think one of those factors is that it was a small group. And that, that experience in kindergarten left an imprint on me of, of saying that my penis or my sexuality is not okay in a small group of people. So I wanted to share this with you because A, yes, it's sort of funny. It's a funny story, right? It's a, 
awkward thing that happened when I was a kindergartner, but also B, like the more serious point is that stuff that happens to us at a young age literally can get embedded in our body and stay there and affect our relationships and affect our sexuality for the rest of our life unless we uncover this stuff and take a look at it. And yeah, sure, there's a difference between like a major trauma, like a sexual assault or a physical abuse. Um, and what I experienced, which is more like a minor trauma, but it still has lived in my body. And now, thankfully for this ritual, um, I'm aware of it and I can feel it in my body. I can, I can say, hey, wow, I can learn from this now. Like this is a friend. Like I don't have to get it out or I don't have to like make it go away. I can see it and accept it and learn from it. And that's where I am right now. And that feels really good. It feels really good. So I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are. You know how to subscribe if you want to. There'll be more videos like this coming out. I'll see you next time. Cheers.